The country of Denmark is cold in the winter. Days are short and there's not much sun. But the Danish people are some of the happiest in the world. Why, you might ask? It can be summed up with a word that's tough to pronounce. Can you say this word? Hajiji? I think it's a uh, hig. Hi. <laughs> You're heavy on the. <laughs> yeah, that's my best shot. We asked DIY guy and decor expert Gary Foy to give us the 411. Hey, Gary. Hey, Malia. What are we doing here? Uh, we're doing huga. 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 What the heck is huga? Huga is a Danish lifestyle. It's about being cozy and relaxing and taking those extra minutes you need to make yourself feel a little better. So what does that mean? It's about having extra blankets, big pillows, and reading books and, and turning a couple extra pages and an extra cup of coffee. And I bet Goodwill is a great place to score some of these things. Gary showed us some warm and welcoming ways to create huga worthy spaces in our homes. First up, a contemporary look. What have you done right here? Um, this is the infamous book nook a place where you can kind of relax and unwind from the day. You've got a shelf, you found a little table and the chairs. Yeah. If sleek is more your style, this chaise lounge is the piece for you. Ooh, yeah, you lie right back, huh? You lie right back. <laughs> Make take relax, a nap right unwind. now. unwind. You know, the great thing is I found this on the sales floor, just sitting out there, and it's got great lines. You know, partner with a great uh, mid-century chair. And uh, yeah, you've got the look at adding pillows and blankets and making it cozy and fun. So if Southwest more your thing, yeah, I'm trying to incorporate a little bit of everything, but I think the Southwest ties in really nicely with this. The, the, the part, the best part about this is having a table that's easy accessible, coffee, and then having a basket. Inside that basket, if you want to come over, it's full of blankets. <gasps> so you can get even cozier. You can get even cozier. Finally, a pretty place to share a meal. What about setting the table? Well, it's about setting a table that can last the entire evening. Pine cones, grab some sprigs of pine, Threw them down on there as well, and then having multiple, uh, you know, things to drink out of. Maybe you're having mulled wine, or maybe you just want to have, you know, some uh, a nice uh, lager. Can we make this cool candle holder? You bet we can. I'm just bringing a little bit of the outside in. You know, you might have some branches on the ground, and this is just an old uh, vase. Actually, it's, grab uh, some pruners, burlap, scissors, glue gun, and a flameless candle. All right, the first thing you want to do is uh, just start working through your pile of sticks and twigs, right? Okay, and we're just gonna start gluing them? And we're gonna start gluing them. So I just run a nice bead of glue. I'm gonna just start working my way over like that. Hold it in place until it dries, and I do the next one. So now we've got all of our twigs attached. Next up? Burlap. Burlap it. So what I do is, because I want to create like this kind of, this. did you see this little bow? It's like a fake bow. Yeah. You want to add a dab of glue there? Yep. Mm -hmm. And then all I'm gonna do is fold in one corner like this, and then I'm going to put a dab of glue there. Then I'm just going to take this guy and I'm going to wrap him on the bottom and then attach it in the back. Malia, do you want to do the honors and put the candle in? I would love to. So we've got our twigs, we've got our burlap, and all that's left is this faux candle. Faux candle. Voila! Boop! Big part of this huga. Huga. Huga is sitting around drinking coffee and tea, which I love. Yes. But you said we can actually make our own mugs. Yeah, so we're going to put our own graphics on these mugs. But you actually made this one already. I did. <laughs> <laughs> what do you need for this project? Mugs, scissors, a rubber cement, Mod Podge, dishwasher safe. So it can actually go in the dishwasher. That's crazy. Top rack. All right. And uh, brushes, and then some printouts of you and your friends. And oh, great. Let's get started. Let's get started. All right, so what you want to do is you want to cut out which one you want. All right, so I'm going to do the me and Malia one. OK, now what do we do? Now it's rubber cement time and start at the top and make sure you cover every single part. So is this a project that uh, kids could do? This is kids, grandparents, grandparents, anybody. And then figure out where you're, where you're gonna place it. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna place mine right there and center it up. Okay. And then you gotta hold it down. So Gary, once you have your picture on there, what's the next step? Mod Podge. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to business doing mugs. Just pictures of me and me on it. So. I'm not sure there's a market for that, but um, maybe our parents would buy them. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Let them dry and your personalized mugs are good to go. Swing by Seattle Goodwill to score everything you need to make your home a Huga hideaway. Are you huge on Huga? <laughs> a Huga? <laughs> Excuse me. Yes, I am. Malia Karlinski, Seattle Refined.